Hi, I'm Dr. Ashujit Kauranan. I'm the senior consultant and the clinical director at PCMH Resto Health at Shantinagar, Bangalore. It's a very important question because now we are seeing more and more people living longer because of the medications, the newer medications which are available, good treatment available and care. So the lifespan of people living with HIV has improved considerably. The quality of life has improved. So people are living well and living longer. And it is important for everyone to complete their family by having a child, which is a natural. Every woman needs to complete her womanhood, womanhood by having a child. And yes, it is possible to have a child who is HIV negative, even when both the parents are HIV positive. So if you have HIV, the husband and the wife, then you need to come and get tested for your viral load because viral uh, suppression in both the parents is very important. So you need to see whether your virus is well controlled with the medications you are taking and you do not have something called drug resistance which continues to multiply the virus and does not cause viral suppression in which case the virus can be transmitted from the mother to the unborn child through the blood circulation yeah so it's important that both of you should get tested for the virus suppression to see your viral load check your viral load and you should be on medication so if the viral load is undetectable for two times between six months, that means that you test your viral load now, it shows undetectable, you repeat a viral load after six months and if it is still undetectable, both of you can go ahead and have a baby who is going to be negative. Again, there is a risk of transmission if a mother who after getting pregnant, delivers the mode of delivery, that means how she delivers, in what conditions she delivers a baby. If it's a difficult delivery where there is a prolonged period of labor, that means she has pains for a prolonged period, there are chances that the child gets distressed inside the mother's womb and there can be risk of transmission of virus if there is no viral suppression. But if there is a good viral suppression, there is no chance of transmission from the mother to the child even in the womb. Then there is a risk of transmission after delivery when the mother feeds the baby. Again here, the virus gets transmitted through the mother's milk to the baby. If the mother is not on medication and if she does not have a viral suppression, there is about 10% chance of passing on the virus to the baby, which means out of 100 children, there are 10 children who are breastfed, there are chances of getting HIV if the mother is not on the medication. So it is important for the mother and the father to be on medication before the mother becomes pregnant and thereafter, after her pregnancy, the medications to continue to continue with the viral suppression till delivery and even after that for breastfeeding the baby. In this way, if the medication is well tolerated and the person has viral suppression, the baby can, is going to be negative.